Hey guys, it's Melanie from MelanieKham.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, new crochet tutorial. It's a basket. So cute. Um, this is the small one. I also made a larger one with a thicker cord. The cool thing about this project is that you don't have to use exactly what I used. I want you guys to be able to use what you have on hand to make these baskets. The, the nice thing about this kind of cord, it's one of those macrame cords that are made out of, I think it's polypropylene. So it's washable like you can hose it down it's not going to hurt anything which is kind of cool um but you can use double strands of yarn you can use different kind of macrame cord you can use uh strips of fabric so i'm going to show you all those details over on my blog um that way i can kind of list everything out and you can see it really easily first link down below but for this video let's jump right in i'm going to teach you exactly how to make it all right let's make our basket so i wanted to show you this basket that i made this is with the Bonnie craft cord or any sort of craft cord. It doesn't have to be Bonnie. Uh, this one is just, I know, widely available. So that's why I picked it. Um, four millimeter. I used a 12 millimeter hook. That's what I used to make this size. And then this along the top, this is from Darn Good Yarn recycled fabric. It's like strips of fabric. So you can use this, you can buy it like that, or you can use scraps of fabric that you have in your fabric stash maybe or something a article of clothing that you're going to cut up because you're going to give it to the goodwill or whatever so that is what is along the top i'm going to show you version two that i made this is with my other basket pattern so that's what it looks like with this style of yarn with an entire project so in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to use the six millimeter so something a little bit thicker a 19 millimeter hook or an s okay we're going to start with a magic ring so hold that free end wrap it around some fingers pull that through make a stitch Now we are gonna do seven single crochets and we're gonna make the base of our basket. So this bottom part, this is all gonna be single crochets and then we're gonna switch up our stitch for the sides. So we wanna put seven, so insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, both loops. That's our single crochet, insert, that's two. We need a total of seven. Okay, there is seven. Tighten it up. Here is that first stitch. We're gonna insert in the top of there. Slip stitch, that's yarn over, pull through both loops. All right, let's chain one. And then we're gonna do two single crochets in each stitch going all the way around. So not starting here, we're gonna start over in this first stitch. There's one, and two. Okay, continue that going all the way around, two single crochets in each stitch. All right, here we go, we've got 14 stitches. And when you slip stitch this ring closed, make sure that you're slip stitching it in that first stitch. The turning chain is going to look really large because of this style of cord so and if you get off it's not really going to matter for this project um, but just when you're the rule of thumb is just when you're slip stitching it that round closed make sure you're doing it in that first stitch that will be easier to see chain one so see that's that chain one we don't want to stitch in there when we come back around okay so we're going to, not here, but over here, two single crochet. So there's one and two, and then we're gonna do one. Okay, 
and then two in the next one and repeat that going all the way around so two one two single crochet one single crochet two one and go ahead and do that all the way around okay our last one here and then you see that's that turning chain slip stitch it to the first stitch there's 21 stitches chain one and then I'm gonna go around one more time then we'll begin our sides of our basket and so this one more time we're gonna do two single crochets again in the same stitch and then it's gonna go one and then one and then two in the same stitch one one two in the same stitch one one so go ahead and do that all the way around okay here's how it's looking so we had two one and then there's one more here remember not this chain one slip stitch with the first stitch and now we're going to begin the walls of our basket so we're going to chain one and then we're going to half double crochet so that's yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and then you'll want to tighten that down a little bit and then we're going to do the exact same thing all the way around yarn over insert the hook yarn over pull through three loops yarn over all three so we're going to do one stitch in each going all the way around and when we come back around here we're just going to continue it all right here's how it's looking now as we're working on this this is our right side and this is our wrong side so you see the difference so as we're working it we're going to want to flip this because this is going to be the outer part right we got one more and then I'm just going to continue on I'm not going to slip stitch or join chain one none of that stuff I'm just going to do this one and then here's our previous stitch so you can tell because we have those one two three strands so that's a stitch so I'm going to yarn over and then just go right in the top of that stitch and in the top of that stitch means underneath these two strands it's kind of like a V shape so now we'll be going in a spiral so this kind of makes a little jump and then we're going to continue going all the way around basically until it reaches the height that you want or until you run out of rope so whichever happens first go ahead and keep stitching all the way around and then when I get there I will show you how to do this little optional top stitch so I wanted to just show you here's where we made that jump so see how it goes from one up to two right here so we'll just keep going we'll stitch here here and then continue going all the way around so ideally when you are done you're gonna finish up around this area ready to be done here it's a decent size it's about six inches tall I feel like that's a pretty good size and I've still got some left over and actually I'm gonna make some just bases by itself to put some plants on so this is the side that kind of dips down a little bit you see that so as we get over here is where we had that step up so as we get closer we're going to drop our stitch down um, now my hands are not too fatigued this project took me so far even with filming took me less than an hour so uh, it's not very long the only thing that is kind of bothering me is where this is running along my finger this is going to be a little bit raw 
It's not bad, but if I was going to make it much longer, I'd probably go put a Band-Aid over that just to protect my skin. So that's one thing that you could watch out for. Okay, now I want to, the half double crochet stitch is a little bit taller, so now I'm going to do a single crochet stitch. It's a little bit shorter stitch, I'm going to do another one of those. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch. And then you can see how that kind of evened out that little dip that happens. We can cut this, give yourself a little tail, and you can use your fingers to weave that in. So first we'll fasten it off. So you can use your fingers to weave it in or a smaller hook size to bring it on this side and weave that in. So there's how it's looking, pretty cute. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to use this recycled yarn. It's Look, it's just a strip of fabric, so you can create your own or you can buy it like this. I'll put a link. Um, this is all recycled materials, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna attach it here. And you could do this a couple different ways. On this basket, we're just gonna do a single crochet one time all the way around. On this guy, I'm gonna do two times, just to show you a little bit of a different look. It'll have a little wider feel, which I think will be kind of natural for this larger piece. Okay, so bring that up, chain one. Okay, and then we're gonna insert, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through both loops. That's our single crochet. We did a bunch of those. So same kind of thing. Go ahead and do this all the way around. When you get back around to here, there's not gonna be any difference. We're just gonna continue like we've been doing. Look how pretty that looks. But go ahead and keep doing your top. I will show you over here, and but we're pretty much in the home stretch. We're almost done. Kind of bypass that join. Okay, and if you want to be done here, you totally can. You will just, that's where that stitch goes. And that will be it. Or you can go around one more time, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to continue. I'm not even going to join it just going to keep moving. Uh, I stuck with the same hook size and just make sure you're bringing this all the way over here to the wider part of the hook because if you only do it here to the middle it's going to make that stitch a lot smaller. So make sure you're really pulling it up so that's how the top will be. I'm going to slip stitch here, cut this yarn, So we'll weave in those tails, otherwise there is your adorable crochet basket. It's about 10 inches in diameter, about seven and a half inches tall, so it's a really nice, good size. Pretty cute, right? I had mine styled with like a votive holder because it's sitting outside on my balcony, um, but you can put plants in it. If it's kind of washable, you can store all kinds of things in it, use it inside, uh, blankets, different, you know, I mean, baskets have all kinds of fun uses for them. So I hope this inspired you to make one and tag me if you do. I'd love to see it on social media. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.